Maybe it's not easy for you right now to believe that God is on your side. And God is not asking you to pretend. Listen, tough and painful situations have a way of bringing questions to all of us. But it's still true. God is for you. He hasn't forgotten you. And sometimes you need to look beyond the circumstances and declare by faith. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. God is good. That's right. All the time, He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good. All the time Through the darkest night His light will shine God is good Yes, He is God is good All the time I have received numerous letters from people who have experienced God's grace in the midst of a tragedy. But I was especially moved by this letter. Dear Don, you don't know us and we don't know you except through your praise and worship music. We understand you wrote the song, God is good all the time. This song has impacted my husband and me more than you realize. Our son, along with seven other young people and four adults, had traveled to a remote lake in the Canadian wilderness for a spiritual retreat and fishing trip. All week long they had been singing, God is good all the time, as a theme song for the retreat. Late one night after a wonderful time of fishing and fellowship around the campfire, they got into their boats to travel back to the cabin on the other side of the lake. A storm came up suddenly, and before they could paddle to shore, Heavy waves and strong winds capsized their canoe and the two boats they had been in. As they were clinging to the boats in the icy 29 degree water, they sang the song they had been singing all week, God is good all the time, and committed their lives to their Creator. Out of the twelve, only four survived. Our son Joseph did not. But I know he was able to face death without fear. My friend, perhaps you're in the midst of a storm that is threatening to capsize your marriage, your family, your health, or your finances. Listen, God hasn't forgotten you, and He isn't against you. God is for you, and He wants you to trust Him today in the midst of whatever storm you are facing. Let His peace come to you as we declare by faith, God is good all the time. God is good all the time. For years, I had been a productive, life on the edge, happy-go-lucky, but empty woman. I had worked in the glamorous world of the film industry and had traveled to exciting countries with famous people. Two failed marriages had brought me to a casual attitude about love, sex, and commitment. I was always in love with someone or other, often someone of more fame than substance. My only relationship with any meaning was a seven-year affair with a married man which resulted in an abortion and our separation. Life on the edge had become an endless cycle of searching for God and failing, then trying to convince myself that I didn't need Him. It was this hunger for reality that took me on a journey into the New Age movement. Since I had no belief in anything so corny as demons or devils, I experienced no fear. I thought I was on my way. 
So I turned away from everything else in my life and concentrated on the so-called deeper truths of this new world. As I was slowly seduced deeper and deeper into this web of deception, I was completely unaware that I had given over control of my life to demonic spirits until I heard a voice say to me, I am Lucifer and you belong to me. Belief in demonic beings and fear were born in me at that moment. I screamed back, no, I belong to God. At that instant, the Prince of Darkness and the King of Glory engaged in a life or death battle for my soul. And I'm here today because Jesus won the battle. He heard my cry, forgave my sin, redeemed my past, and brought beauty out of ashes and victory over condemnation. God's love and power are real. There's no failure or bondage that can resist His greatness. I know I've been there. And I can tell you without hesitation, God is for you. And Jesus loves you. Let Him love you to life as He did me. The longer I walk with Him, the more amazed I become with the seemingly ever-expanding dimensions of God's love for us. Of course, He isn't becoming more loving, for the greatness of His person is unchanging. He is love. But as I have moved through the decades of life with Jesus, I can't describe the joy that comes from discovering more and more of His love all the time. The goodness we sing about isn't simply a, a happy time thrill when things are going well, nor is it only for, for crises when we receive those tough time assists from God for our struggles or pain. Yes, there are happy times, and His loving goodness gives them. And certainly there is a special grace for hard times. When God's love comes shining through beyond the trial, to shower the glory of His presence in a way that heals hurts and comforts us in sorrow. Oh, there are a thousand facets to life, and for each one, there's an answering facet of God's great love. And it's always good. He's always there, always for us, always able, so that Whenever we deal with questions or concerns, whatever comes or goes, or however much time passes and the answer is not immediately apparent, still his word speaks, saying, What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who or what can be against us? We are more than conquerors through him who loves us, and I am persuaded that neither life nor death, angels or dark powers, things present or future, things high or low, there is not any created thing that shall ever be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord.